Hey everybody, it's Rez, and I have this quick review to do for you today. I am heading to my sister's gender reveal. I am wearing pink for Team Pink using the Sugar Pop Palette, uh, Sugar Pop Palette from Too Faced. Anyways, I went ahead and bought this new foundation, as you can see, that I'm wearing. I was at Walgreens yesterday, and I was trying on different swatches and stuff, and I really liked how the Revlon Photoshop Ready stuff really looked on me. Like, on my, on my swatched it, it looked pretty. Um, now I'm noticing that I put, when I put it on, as you can see, I, I glitter. I bought this color correcting primer. Why is this not working? I don't know why this isn't working. There you go. Revlon Photo Ready Correcting Primer, as you can see here. I went ahead and bought this. I put this on underneath the makeup and I really don't know what to say. Like, I really like this stuff. The color correcting primer, I think, does amazing. It makes my face look a lot more done and finished looking kind of thing. Um, the other thing that I'm going to say is, so I went ahead and I bought the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Makeup in the shade Vanilla. Here it is right here. Now this stuff, I like how my face looks. I just do not like the simple fact of the matter of the, um, if you can see, I shine like Edward Cullen, like I said, look at this. It's all up here, and I even put my Tarte Smooth Operator mattifying powder over this to make it more matte, and I, I just don't know if I like how illuminating I look. I mean, I'm just not used to that. I'm, I never, ever really bought something like this. Maybe I just need to get used to it. Maybe it's just me that doesn't really care for it, per se. Um, but I figured it was a good time to try something new, try a liquid foundation, because I am going to be buying the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I will also do a review and demo on that as well when I get it. I haven't worn foundation, liquid foundation, in a long time. My two staples in life are my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation or the Tarte Airbrushed um, Powder. I mean, I do like this for a full coverage look, like what I was going for today. I mean, I it, it is pretty, I will say. I'm going to go ahead and keep it, and I'm going to give it um, a couple more tries, you know, see how I really like it, see if it grows on me. I don't want to talk down about the product. I mean, I love that I look flawless. I really do. I love this primer, like I said. I really love this auto-correcting primer. Well, color correcting primer, not auto correcting. What is this? This is not electronic. <laughs> I really do like the color correcting primer. Um, it is really, really amazing. I really like this stuff a lot. I don't know. I can't really give anything bad on it. But that's pretty much it on this review, guys. I just wanted to hop on here. Like I said, I'm getting ready to go out. I have lots of things to do and accomplish before I leave. If you like this video, go ahead and check out my other videos. Go ahead and subscribe. Become a member of my growing chaotic crazy family. Become a minion in my crazy chaotic life. Go ahead and rate, comment, do whatever you want to do. Go ahead and give this video, video two thumbs way, 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 way up if you really, really dig it. If you like this foundation, let me know. If you don't, let me know as well. I'd like to hear your feedback on it. Um... Like I said, the review is a really mixed review. I love it, but I don't. If it didn't have the sparkles in it, I would be completely, like, sold on it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. See you all tomorrow, guys. Love you. Bye.